and we need to move completely away from vegetable oils, heating them all together. Um, and, and the main reason is it oxidizes cholesterol, so that'll take us into cholesterol. There's two schools of thought on cholesterol, and I think they're both wrong. Mm -hmm. And what cholesterol happened is it almost became like how our American politics are. They're everybody's overstating their points to make their points. And, and that doesn't work, and it hurts people. And people get sick because of it. You have one side that says, we're going to take these numbers, and we're going to drug them into these ranges. And then we're going to have fewer heart attacks and strokes. It, it, especially for women, it didn't work. We're now lowering them to even lower, lower levels, and it's still barely working. So the model hasn't been successful. And you can quote little slices of statin studies all you want. When you look at the big meta studies and how well they work, it is very, very unsuccessful as a model of reducing heart disease. And I will hold up my science and everything that we read, everything when I present and lecture is peer-reviewed papers on it. As a matter of fact, statins can cause calcifications in heart. And that was big meta studies that were released and it was, everybody was suspecting it. But also when you lower cholesterol, you will always increase risk of four things. All-cause cancer, specific, specifically breast and uh, prostate that we know of. Dementia, uh, heart failure, and diabetes. I don't mind the prescribing of statins if that's what you believe in. You have a science disagreement with me, that's fair. But the patients aren't being warned. And that's not fair. And that is not acceptable. You know, we read that NHS has, what, seven, eight minutes per patient. Well, if all you can do in that time is, here's your statin, and discuss the potential side effects, you've been a good physician. But if you've prescribed it and acted like, ah, it's safe, or you haven't, dis haven't done it, then I disagree with that. Mm -hmm. You know, we can argue models all day, I'm glad to do my science, but not warning people that devastating side effects is unacceptable. The problem is there's this other side, the cholesterol myth. The cholesterol conspiracy, the government's trying to make us senile. We've heard everything. This is absolutely not true. Cholesterol can be very dangerous, but they're not looking at the physiology. Cholesterol is a fat. When that fat spoils, it is very dangerous. Just like you know, we were talking about the oils a minute ago. When it becomes trans, it's very dangerous. When cholesterol oxidizes, that is the only form of cholesterol that causes disease, ever. So when people are looking at their cholesterol panel and are saying ridiculous things like, oh, LDL is bad cholesterol. Really? It makes neurotransmitters. It makes sex hormones. It repairs arteries. It protects our brain, immune function across the board. So it's not bad cholesterol, but LDL can oxidize. Medical doctors in general are hoping to lower all cholesterol and they're hoping by doing that that they lower the amount of oxidized cholesterol. And probably sometimes they're successful and sometimes they're not. But don't kid yourself, it is a dangerous potential trade. You have a potential of getting better or preventing something that has really not been realized in data for four devastating side effects. And, and that's where it really falls. But don't kid yourself, the natural community has jumped on these conspiracies and that's not right either. Cholesterol can be very, very dangerous. This is why there's no substitute for health food stores. There's no substitute for plant-based diets, high antioxidants and things. They will always work. Whenever you bring down oxidation, you bring down inflammation, the immune system calms down. It's the immune system that senses the oxidized cholesterol and drags it into the arteries. The more inflammation, the more immune activity, the more cholesterol is dragged into arteries. And that's where the inflammation piece comes in.